Hi friends, welcome back. Today we're on lesson number 10.4. We're comparing four digit numbers. I know that these have been really big numbers, but I want you to open your mind, open your brain, and we're gonna expand our thinking and expand the numbers that we've been talking about here. We're gonna compare. So today we're gonna be talking about greater than, less than, equal to, that sort of thing, okay? So there's kind of a trick when you're looking and comparing really big numbers. It's, <clears throat> it's the same trick we use when we're putting something in alphabetical order, right? Sometimes they try to trick you and they put three words that start with the letter A. Well, if you're going in order from A all the way to Z, well, you're supposed to look, okay, what letter starts with A? What letter starts with B? What letter, and going in that order. But if all three of them start with the same letter, what do you do? You go to the next letter right and see okay which letter now if all of those are the same then you move to the next letter and then the next letter until you find one that's different okay same thing comes same thing happens when you're comparing these numbers to know which one is greater than you're going to work from the thousands rooms so the biggest number all the way to the smallest number or smallest room the thousands room is the biggest okay then it's the hundreds room then it's the tens then it's the ones so we will first look in the thousands and compare, are they both the same? And then if they are, we'd move to the hundreds room. Are those both the same or is one number bigger than the other? Usually you notice that there's a difference in a number right away. Not all of them are, are um, gonna be the same number for a lot of rooms, but sometimes they might do that to try to get you thinking, okay? So we're gonna practice a few. I'm gonna share my screen really quick. We're gonna practice a few just to warm up and then we'll jump into our paper, okay? Are you ready? <clears throat> I'm gonna show you exactly what I've been explaining. So look at these two numbers, 1,325, and we're gonna compare it to 1,248. Hmm, can you tell right off the top of your head which one's greater than and less than? Hmm, well, if it's too big of a number for you and you're feeling a little bit like, ah, I don't know, I have no idea, that's okay, I'm gonna show you how we break it down to do this. Okay, so we're gonna look at the thousands place. We're gonna start from this way, going that way, okay? In the thousands, let's see, both of them have 1,000. Well, that's not gonna help us because it's the same number, so let's move on to the next number. Let's look at the hundreds room. Well, this number has 300, that number has 200. What's bigger, 300 or 200? Yes, 300 is bigger. So we already know that this number is gonna be greater, 1,325 is gonna be greater than 1,248. Sometimes also just listening to it, it can give you a clue to which one is greater by listening to the number in the thousands, listening to the number in the hundreds might give you a clue. Just listen to those. 1,325 or 1,248. What sounds bigger? The 300, right? That's That kind of sticks out to me. When I hear those numbers, I hear the 300 compared to the 200 and 300 is bigger. It's gonna win every time. All right, let's move on down to the bottom. Ooh, this is what I'm telling you about. The first two numbers are the same. If I look at the thousands, same number there. Let's move on to the hundreds. Oh, there's two in the hundreds. Now let's move on down to the tens. Well, there's a five in this one and a three in this one. Which number is greater, the five or the three? Yes, the five is greater. So once again, that side wins. Okay, so that's basically, in a nutshell, what we're gonna be doing today. We're comparing the numbers. So there's 2,316 seagulls, 1,243 sandpipers. Are there more sandpipers or seagulls? They went ahead and represented the amount of birds with the base 10 blocks. Can you see it there? There's 2,000s on this side for the seagull side, and there's 1,000 for the sandpiper side. Well, just looking at those numbers, we know that if you have 2,000 versus 1,000, 2,000 is more than 1,000. So seagulls, in my opinion, is greater than just by looking at that but maybe you need to take it one step further and that's okay. You could look at the next number, all right? Let's see, 2,000 is greater than 1,000. So we know that 
2,316 is greater than 1,243. All right, since they did that one for you, we're gonna move on down and jump right into our paper. You're gonna circle the greater number, not the base 10 blocks, just the number that's right underneath. Are you ready? All right, let's compare them. 3,315 or 5,143, which one is greater? If we're just comparing the number in the thousands, they're two different numbers, which one's bigger? Which one has more thousands? Yes, this one, go ahead and circle it. Good job. Let's move down below. Which one is greater? 2,257 or 1,471? You're right, the first one is. Good job, friends. All right, now they're gonna have us do something a little bit different. We're looking at the two numbers there and we're gonna compare them and we're gonna write which number is greater than which number. Are you ready? I want, and I'm gonna take it one step further. I'm gonna have you circle the one that's greater, okay? That way we know what we're focusing on. So four, this one has 4,000, this one has 5,000. So which number is greater? 4,628 or 5,713. Good job. 5,713 is greater than 4,628. And you'd write it the exact same way with the symbol. They stay in the same order. 5,713 is greater than 4,628. Oh, please check your number. Did you remember to write your um, comma in the number. Remember the comma means thousands. So if there's no comma there, we're not saying thousands, but there's thousands. This is the bigger number. We're talking about thousands now. We're getting ready for third grade friends. You guys just continue to amaze me at how intelligent you are and how you guys have just transitioned to this whole new way of learning at home. I know it's hard friends. I'm having a really hard time with all of this too. So just know you're not alone, friends. Miss Werner has had a hard time. I've even cried about all of that's gone on because I'm just, I'm so sad that I, I'm not able to see you guys every day. And I enjoyed that so much and spending time with you guys and seeing you in my class. So this has been really hard for me too. But I am so happy that God provides a way that we can use technology to our advantage and see each other and talk to each other. So that's been just so good for my heart to be able to talk to you and see you guys but I just want you to know, I don't know why I'm even talking about this during math, but it just came upon me to tell you that you guys are doing such a good job and keep going and don't give up because the end is coming. It's going to come and it's going to be here before we know it. it's going to be the end of the school year. And then before we know it, we're going to be ready for second grade. Did I say third grade earlier? Well, you are going to be doing third grade work, but you won't be in third grade just yet. You're not skipping. Nobody's skipping here. You can't move upstairs just yet because then that'll make my teacher teach yourself cry. I still need to see you guys next year when you walk on by to second grade. Okay, back to math. Let's go to number four. Look at these two numbers. Oh, they're trying to stump you here. Both of those numbers in the thousands have an eight. Okay, 8,000 and 8,000. So what do we have to do here, Michael? Do you know what to do? I'm so, I'm stuck. Help me, what do I do? What number do I look at next? Oh, did you say the hundreds? Good idea. So if the thousands are the same, you're gonna move over to the next digit, which is the hundreds. Now this one has a five and this one has a two. Which one is greater than? Which one, sorry, not greater than. Which one's greater? 8,594 is greater than 8,267. Good job. Now you're just gonna write it down here in the same place. Do you guys remember that the alligator's mouth eats the smallest number or does it like to eat the biggest piece, the biggest number? Um, 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 um. It likes to chomp the biggest number, right? So remember that when you're trying to figure out where to write what number. The biggest number is gonna be on the side where the alligator's mouth is open really big and wide. Okay, let's look at number five, 6,248 and 6,221, which one is greater? Okay, let's look. There's the same number in the thousands, so let's keep going. Same number in the hundreds, 
Let's keep going. In the tens. Ah, here we go. There's a four in the tens and a two in the tens. Which number is greater, the four or the two? Yes, which one has more tens? It's the first one. 6,248 is greater than 6,221. And you write it in the same spot down below. All right, last one. Which one has more ones? So we can go directly to the ones because all the other numbers are the same. Four, four, one, one, two, two. All right, now let's look at four and nine. Hmm, is four bigger than nine? No. So 4,129 is greater than 4,124. Good job. All right, let's move on down. You're gonna write greater than or less than. Okay, let's see how quick you guys can figure this out here. All right, remember the test. You have to put all these numbers through the test. You can't just go in and fill in greater than, less than, greater than, less than without looking, all right? We're not starting at the ones, we're not starting in the tens, and we're not starting in the hundreds. We're gonna start from the biggest number to the smallest. So the biggest number here is in the thousands. 6,000 or 3,000, which one's bigger? Yes. So our alligator mouth's gonna chomp the bigger number, which is 6,249. All right, nine and nine, that's the same. Move on to the next, zero, zero, still the same, one and two, this one's bigger. All right, next, 7,293 or 7,299. <gasps> Can you already hear it? I just heard it. So we're gonna compare the last digit here, which is three and nine, which one's bigger? Yes, it's nine, good job. Okay, I'm gonna do this middle column and then you guys are gonna do the last three on your own. I'm gonna see, I'm gonna see um, if you guys got it, okay? Remember the test, let's keep going. 1,269 or 1,246. So we're looking at this, the number in the tens, six or four greater. Six is. All right, 2,268 or 4,927. Oh, that's easy. Right off the bat, I can hear. 2,000 is smaller than 4,000. Okay, oh, these are the ones, I don't like when they give us these because they're just scrambling up the numbers and they really, I know they're trying to trick you when they do this, I just know it. But you won't get tricked, right, first grade? You will not. All right, 8,126 or 8,216, what do you think? What sounds greater? All right, let's do the test if we can't figure that out just by hearing it. Well, there's eights in the thousands. Let's look at the hundreds. Ooh, here we go. There's a one in the hundreds and then a two in the hundreds. What's bigger, 100 or 200? Would you rather have $100 or $200? I vote for $200. All right, you can go ahead and do the, la the next three on your own. Okay, but I'm gonna skip down actually to the bottom here. We're gonna write these numbers from smallest to the biggest. Now, if I remember correctly, last year we had some students who had a hard time with this because this is these are really big numbers that we're talking about. Okay, so I don't want you to freak out. We're gonna try our best and we're gonna do it together. Okay, are you ready? All right, all of these numbers start in the thousands sorry in the two thousands so we know that all of them will start with the two thousand so you can go ahead and write two thousand for all of them we're building numbers here okay what is the next smallest number the next smallest number is it four two six or five ah it's a two good job so write the two so we know two thousand two hundred sixteen is our smallest number What's the next smallest number? Well, we can cross this out already since we already know that's done. Oh, a four is smaller than a five and a six, so 2,458, good job. Now what's next? And I, I love to cross things out as I'm done writing them just so I'm not confused. It kind of takes it off of the, the paper there for me so I don't get confused, okay? Next, 2,600 or 2,500. Remember, we're doing smallest to biggest. 
So the next smallest number would be five. Good, and the last one, by default, 2,698, nice. Can we handle the next one? That wasn't too bad, right? All right, let's keep going. So all of these start with a six in the thousands. So let's write 6,000 for all of them. Now, oh man, they all have, did you guys notice? They all have a three in the hundreds. So let's write a 300, a three in the hundreds. All right, where is it different? In the tens. So we're gonna focus on all the numbers in the tens. Remember, are we going greatest to smallest or, sorry, greatest to least or least to greatest? Yes, we're going smallest number to the biggest number. So smallest number goes first. What would be the next smallest number? Well, one. So 6,310 is the smallest. What would be the next smallest? What comes after one? Two comes directly after one. So 6,327 would be next. Okay, is there a three in the tens? No, how about a four? Yep, 6,349. And the last one, 6,388. Oh, you guys are amazing. Okay, the bottom section is just review. And it's equal as in there's three addition, three subtraction. So for those of you who love addition, woohoo! And for those of you who love subtraction, woohoo! It's half and half. All right, switch your brain back to addition, subtraction, switch it back to regrouping. Remember the biggest number that can be in the ones room or in any room is a nine. So then you have to take it to the top, bro, if it doesn't fit in the ones room, okay? Take it to the top, carry it up, and then add it one by one. And hmm, let me see who remembers. When you're adding or subtracting, what room do you start in? Did you, Doc, did you say the ones room? Oh, you're absolutely, oh, thank you, Jesus. You remembered. You are absolutely correct. It's in the ones room. All right, friends, I love you so much. We will talk soon. Bye, guys.